In this tutorial series, we'll be learning how to model, texture, and render a wine bottle box and the packaging insert that holds the wine bottle in place. We'll begin with a look at the reference images that will be used as guides for creating the materials in this project. Then we'll open up the final scene from the wine bottle project in installment 1 and duplicate its render settings to create a fresh set for installment 2. Next, we'll organize the wine bottle scene from installment 1 into layers. This will allow us to preserve the work from the wine bottle project and use it to speed up the creation of the wine box and insert all from within a single Cinema 4D scene. After the settings and layer prep work is done, we'll start modeling our wine box using a primitive cube as a starting point. We'll create an instance of the wine bottle to place on its back and then adjust the cube's proportions to the proper size around the instance. Then we'll make the cube editable and customize the mesh to create a box top and bottom which we'll texture with several materials using layered texture tags and alpha channels. Then we'll model the cardboard insert that holds the wine bottle in place using a variety of tools including edge to spline and extrude. After the modeling is done, we'll dive deeper into layered texture tags using the Mixed Textures option to blend material channels and their different texture projections. We'll also explore applying roughness, reflection, and bump maps to materials, all of which add complexity and realism to your 3D renders. We'll finish the series by jumping back into the render settings, activating our high quality preset, and rendering a final image.